Okay, teachers, I'm going to show you how to do the Google integration to make your life and the lives of your students much more simplistic. So when you log into StudySync and you go to your name, there's an option there for settings. You will go to settings and then you will go to Google. Now you'll make sure that you integrate Google integration. So I can semi show you what that's going to look like. It's going to ask you to sign in with your Google account. You will choose your account from the list. And then it will ask you to allow, it'll go through a couple more steps. I've already integrated mine, but basically you're enabling a Google Drive and, a, and Google Classroom. And then you'll hit save settings. Now what this does for your students is it makes life a lot easier because when you go to an assign an assignment, so let's say you go to the live or to the core ELA and you go in to the unit that you want to look at. We're just going to pick something randomly and you decide to do a first read or whatnot, and you hit assign. What happens is that when you see your classes now, it says Google Classroom next to it. Now, if you don't see Google Classroom enabled, then your roster might not be up to date, like students may not have connected yet. So that first video shows students how to connect through Google Classroom. Now, your job is to make sure when you go to users to guarantee that they've been synced. So as you can see here, I have a roster mismatch here. So that's either A, because a student is not in my class anymore and they're still in my Google Classroom and they did not go in and sign into StudySync, or B, that this person has yet to integrate Google like that first video said to do. So if you want to check that it is up to date, when you go in, there's an option that says status and it has a refresh button. You can refresh if the student does it later and was not ready yet. And then that way you can make sure that everything is set. So again, you go to users and then you just double check. Um, you can check your mismatches. I know mine in here is a student that moved to another school and I need to remove her from my class. So now I go to the core ELA and I want to assign the assignments now because I went in and fixed that problem because mine, pretending, mine didn't say Google Classroom next to all of them. So now I know that I'm good. I'm enabled, everything is connected. So I choose my class period and you notice right underneath it says create Google Classroom assignment. Now that is important to do because when it shows up on kids' Google Classrooms, it's an actual direct link it will take them directly to the assignment when they click it and they don't have to log in. It will automatically log them in through their Google account. So the best way to access then study sync would be to always go through Google Classroom for them because then they will be clearly logged in with their Google Classroom account. So it'll be easy for them to get the assignment. So I'll give you an example here. When we go to my classroom page, I'll just click on my study sync assignments so you can see what they look like. Okay, so as you can see, these are study sync assignments. This is what the kids would see. They would see the assignment and they would also see the link to that assignment. Now, when they click on it, it will take them directly into the assignment and it will actually log them in. They don't ever have to type their login again because now they're Google integrated, you've integrated Google, it makes everyone's lives easier. And it especially makes you, the teacher's life easier because when you click on the study sync link, it will directly open up to the assignment so you can grade it. You don't have to log in and it goes directly to the actual assignment. And then you can do the grading as you can see there. So it makes your life easier. It makes the kids' lives easier, and I just wanted to share this video since I know with online learning, this is going to be really important to flow through it. Thank you.